Hey, what's up? Yesterday we bought this uh, sugar apple tree, also known, I believe, as a soursop or cherimoya, possibly. Anyway, so we got one. Now I'm going to repot it to a little bit larger container. To pot. Also, it looks like we already had one. Uh, my wife says she bought this years ago and it's been neglected, kind of off in the corners, so to speak, not taken care of. And uh, I do believe it's the same tree. So I'm going to repot this. So apparently, they'll grow in pretty much any kind of soil, whether it's sandy, which we have a lot of sandy soil here in South Florida, or, you know, some better quality soil. So the, this is going to go into this better soil, and that's going to go into more sandy soil. We'll see how they react to the different uh, soil types. So that one's going to go into this one. This will go into this one. And what I'm going to do is drill holes all around the bottom of these so uh, we get some good drainage because apparently they don't like to get the uh, keep the roots wet. I guess they could uh, deteriorate from too much wetness. So I'll give them some drainage. So you see this is one of those cement things which has no drainage whatsoever. So that's surely been a problem for this tree. All right, I guess that'll do. Got them in the bottom, all around the sides, all the way around. There's actually already some in the corners like that. That should do. All right, now I need to remove this from this uh, cement type flower pot here. Hopefully it's not a chore, but I'm gonna get this thing out of here. Well, that was easy, just pour right up. No problem at all. Not even root bound. All right, this one just pulls right up, no problem. That was easy. Now I'm going to separate this root ball a little bit here. Get the roots spread out. All right, and there they are. Now I'm going to give them a bit of fertilizer. And they're on their way. Okay, what I've learned is, one is too much water is not good for the roots. And down here in South Florida, uh, I should probably give it a light fertilizing every month or so. And on the newer trees, if it flowers, uh, I guess maybe the first couple of years, don't let it fruit. This way you give it the plant time to uh, expand and grow more foliage. Then maybe the third year, let it go ahead and fruit and flower and so forth. All right, so I'll be checking back on the progress of these two trees. Thanks for stopping by and in your support. Later.